Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Today we are going to be playing some body cam in full VR. Yes, it is possible and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Now for those of you who have played this game already, you'll know there's a hyper realistic form to it and it looks a lot better on flat screen. I'm going to just put it out there. However, this method of playing the game in VR is in its infancy. So I would stay tuned and I would definitely keep updates because it will change and it will become more enjoyable. This method has, of course, been brought to us by the amazing flat screen to VR community, as well as UE VR and Preydog. Now, first things first, we are going to head over to the flat screen to VR modding community in Discord and we're going to go to UE and we're going to go to GitHub and we're going to choose the latest link. Now, I'm going to show all links in the description of this video, so please don't worry. We're going to hit browse file and if we scroll down, we're going to see download stable release. Click that and there is our link. Once we've clicked that, we are going to have UE VR downloaded on our computer. Now there's no installation process actually. All you really need to do is go over to the file in your downloads and extract it. And once extracted, you'll have UEVR, which is the injector, which is gonna inject you into an Unreal Engine VR instance. Now guys, please make sure that you read the disclaimer and also bear in mind that your computer may not like the software because essentially it injects itself into games and it adjusts files. So in order to go around that, you're going to have to disable your security for the folder that this is being downloaded into and you can re-enable it once it's moved out. If you want more information on how to do that, I will drop a link in the description to a video on where I install UEVR fully. But for the rest of you, it should be quite simple. Now that you've got body cam running, you can actually just go straight ahead to UEVR and you can actually select it on the drop down menu and you can inject it. But if you did that, then the game's going to go crazy and it's not going to work. And that's because there's a few fixes we have to do before we get this running. Now, firstly, as this game plays through Steam VR, you might be tempted to use Steam VR View. Don't, because the game itself needs to be the primary window. If you have Steam Viewer open, then you won't be able to move. You'll just have your mouse in front of you. It won't work. So make sure that when you inject, that's the window that stays open. However, when you inject, this is what you get. You'll get a really horrible ghosting effect. Um, it's quite nauseating, but actually it's really easy to fix. Now, shout out to my friend VR Dad for this fix. He is the one who showed it to me. Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. He has some incredible content on VR, VR reviews, and he is just generally an amazing content creator. So go check him out. Now what we're basically doing here is checking the resolution size of our screen and what we need to do is make sure that the resolution size of our screen matches the resolution size in the game. So have a look on your desktop, have a look at your resolution size, then go into the game and make sure that they match. And once you've done that, it should work. And now we're going to head over to the flat screen to VR Discord and as you can see there are loads of games here if we select UE games on the side. But we want to choose body cam and we're going to scroll up this chat. Here you can see VR Dad, he's been quite active on this game. But if we keep scrolling up we're going to find a profile eventually. You can create your own profile but it's a little bit complicated. You can actually just play the game without a profile and UE VR will create it itself. But here is a profile and it was made by Klaus790, big shout out to him. And what we're going to do is we're going to click it, we're going to download it and we're going to end up importing it. So here we are guys and we have reopened UEVR and ordinarily I'd be able to go over to import config, I'd be able to go over to desktop where I have dragged this new one from Klaus, but for whatever reason it's not there. Ordinarily, you can actually just click it as a compressed file and it'll import. So instead, we're going to open up that folder. We're going to extract this and we're going to drag it in ourselves. And here you can see it's got all the information there. And essentially what this does is it will align the gun correctly 
with the um, with the screen and it'll do a bunch of other things. Now you can see I've already done it, so it doesn't really matter, but that's how we do it. So guys, once you have done all of the previous steps, all you need to do is open up Bodycam and then open up UEVR. And once you do that, you go to the drop down menu and you select UVR and you select inject. Now it may take a little while because this is quite hectic on the computer. It might take a little while for it to load in, but once it's loaded in, it should work pretty fine. These are my thoughts on the gameplay. Now, if you've played this game already on flat screen, you'll know that the aiming is pretty tough. Well, the aiming in VR, it's a lot tougher. <laughs> it is really impressive to be in this environment and to look around and to, you know, sort of have the gun sort of sway the way it does. But for me, I think, it, there's a lot of work to be done however stick with the flat screen to vr community and again i'm going to drop a link to their their um discord they will end up perfecting this because they are a bunch of geniuses um it's really worthwhile keeping an eye on that now another thing to note is that there is a bit of an annoying vignette which follows you around and that's that black border that you can see and um, that's clearly not visible in flat screen, but in VR you can see it quite clearly because you can move your head around it. And um, that leads into the next thing really is the gun itself, it, it, it's just impossible to aim really accurately in VR. And I'm sure that'll get fixed in time. Uh, what I find really cool is that you can move your head and look around the gun and, and sort of look around the environment and do all sorts of things like that. But when I ADS or when I push the ADS button, I usually have to push my head back just in order to actually look down the scope and get a few bullets down range. So another thing to consider is you're going to need a bit of a beefy computer for this to run. I'm going to be honest with you because I'm running a 4080S, um, an RTX 4080S, and I'm running it with uh, you know good RAM. Um, I'm running it with a good CPU uh, and and it's it's a little bit choppy I don't have it on the highest resolution uh, obviously and I don't have it on the highest specifications but uh, other than that guys really this is how you do it make sure to head over to the flat screen to VR modding community and keep an eye on the profiles because they will slowly improve and eventually this will become a much more playable experience so keep it tuned and other than that I really hope this video was helpful. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.